medicine bundle. It's called a mesa, and it's used by the Caro people of the Andes in Peru. Now, you may wonder why I, a blonde-haired, white American, am opening my talk with a Peruvian medicine bundle. But my friend and compadre, Lorenzo Capa Apaza, a Caro priest, he gave it to me, and he asked me to deliver a message about healing for ourselves and our planet. And a medicine bundle is for healing. The Caro people live by many principles. One of them is called Aini, which means sacred reciprocity. In other words, or for example, what, if I take something from the earth, I return something to the earth. But let me backtrack a minute. In 2010, my son, my daughter-in-law, and I were invited by Lorenzo to accompany him to his homeland, 16,000 feet, a place called Kiro. And along the way, we were invited to receive these ceremonies of initiation called karpais. And a karpai is not only a, cer a ceremony of initiation, but it's a reconnection and a healing ceremony. For instance, one of the karpais that we received was the karpai of the water. And we were told to wear bathing suits. And we were told that we were going to be driven to a lake outside of Cusco. And then Lorenzo said to us, and now you're going to jump into this lake. And I said, OK. <laughs> and he said, and you're going first, because you're the mother. So I said, OK, and I jumped into the lake, and it was black, and it was cold, and I couldn't see the bottom. <laughs> and I was like, Lorenzo was going, go under, go under. And I was like, OK, OK, what are we doing in this lake? And suddenly, everything stopped. And I understood the lesson of the carpi. I could see that the blood and the water in my body was actually the same as all the water on the planet. And I understood in that moment that we are inextricably connected to our planet. And that when we heal ourselves, we are also healing the planet. So the Carol have an interesting idea that this particular time in history is a time of incredible potential for human evolution to elevate our consciousness. But this is a choice. It's a matter, it's up to us. My friend Jorge Luis Delgado says that when you say yes to life, it becomes extraordinary. So making this choice to elevate our consciousness is a way of saying yes. Now, clearly we're not gonna all go jump in this lake outside of Cusco and receive these car pies, but there are, there are many ceremonies that people can do in many different traditions. One of them I learned in Peru is very simple. You can do it every morning. You, you stand and you face the direction of the sun. You close your eyes. You feel the light of the sun entering your body so that it feels the same, that you're filled with light the way I was understood about the water in the light car pie. And at the same time, you feel your heavy energy, any kind of sorrow or sadness, leaving your body. And you put your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your solar plexus, and you say, with all my love and no fear, I greet this day. That is living in Aini, in sacred reciprocity. That is a way of saying yes to life. Imagine if enough of us did this, we could actually change the world, way we lived in the world. We could create a tipping point, and we could change the way that we live on the planet, one person at a time, simply by saying yes. I'm saying yes. I hope you'll join me. Opachai Sankale, from the depths of my heart to yours. Thank you.